Hey, what's going on? Matthew Tamin here. Today, I wanted to bring you a brand new video about update to SP Page Builder version 3.4. Uh, this is another major release with a lot, a lot of cool features in there. I'm not going to go over everything in this video, so I'm going to create subsequent videos to make sure that you understand uh, each one. So as you can see, when you go on the website, you can check out the updates, uh, the change log for this, but they have blend mode, they have a slideshow. They have so many different things uh, that they've done to this, which is really exciting. They have production mode. Uh, so you can see here some of the different things that they've added. So what I want to do today is I want to go over the blend mode. Uh, the blend mode gives you flexibility in order for you to be able to uh, give your images a unique look. So to get started, I'm going to just you can do this by going over. I can delete this here first. Let me just delete that. So you can go over to the blocks. Now the blocks are predefined layouts that has already been created for you to just be able to drag and drop and you can customize as you see fit. So right now they've added a blend mode. So just click on the blend mode. When you do that, and by the way, in order for you to have, if you don't have access to the blocks, that's because you don't have the, the pro version. You need to get the pro version. If you don't have it, just pause the video and get it right now and then come back to the video. So once you have the pro version and if you're ready to go, the blend mode has different options here for you, predefined. So what that means, let me drag this one here. You see, based on the layout, the, the, the option that you choose, you can create a certain type of look for your photos. There are times when you're designing and you want to give your website a certain look. I know for me when I'm creating websites for myself or for clients, I want to give it a different, you know, something unique, something different, something more of my style. So the blend mode gives you that flexibility to do that. So you have soft light, just to name a few, light and saturation overlay. So it's just showing you what can be done. So let's see this thing in action now. Let's delete this here. So you can choose any one of these. Here. So let me just drag this one over here. I'm going to drag this here. And this is what it looks like. So let's go over to the edit now and we're going to take a look at it. So if you click on this here, you, on the general, you don't see anything on the general. That is because all the styling for this is under the style tab. So when you go there, now I'm not going to spend time to go over all these details. Uh, hey, I already went that, through that with another video uh, for this master class. So when you go here, you can change the photo that you want to be able to replace this with. So let me just lift that photo for now and let's take a look at this incredible, incredible thing. So let's scroll down here you have the option of choosing the type of gradient that you want. Uh, so the power of the blend mode, it works with gradients because you have to be able to blend two different uh, different colors that you want to be able to put. So in this case, let's say I decided that I didn't want this particular color. Well, I can change that, click on this here, and I can just drag. Now, as I'm dragging, you notice that it's changing accordingly. So if you have an image that you're trying to evoke a certain emotion out of it, you can use this here and I'm going to change that to that. And you can change the overlay, how much of it you want to the bottom, or you can change how less of it you want. So let's go to the second color. So you have the first uh, color position, the second one. Now let's say I wanted to change this one to something else. Okay. I'm just going to drag that right there. You can put that or whatever it is. That's the beauty about this thing, you know, it's so incredible that you can be able to choose and you want to lighten it, darken it. That's pretty much up to you. So if you're creating a website that has a certain color scheme and you want to blend those photos into it, you can definitely do that. And you can change the positions, uh, how it looks too. So this is at 46 right now. So if I do that, you notice as you're watching right there, it's going based on continues to slide over. And I can do the same thing too for the second position and kind of gives it that, you know, shaded look. So you can choose the type, the radio, if you notice the radio right there, or it can go with the linear. So let's leave that. You can change the angle as well too for this. So base, it should drag and drop, drag here, the angle changes accordingly. So you can leave that like that. So maybe that's something you want to do now. Let's go down to the blend mode. You have options here. Now, where did this blend mode come from? I want to show you something. Now, typically, when I had to, when I'm designing uh, websites for clients, which is typically custom size, and I'm doing something for them, and they have a list of five or six images that they want to be able to create but give it a different look. Typically, what I would do is I have Photoshop, 
I would come here and I would, you know, go to Photoshop with the image, go to the blending options, and I would have to create a unique look for each one. And as I'm changing this, so you notice that the photo is going to change based on the options that I'm choosing here, the blend option I'm choosing here. So let me X out of this. So what these guys have done, is they're bringing Photoshop into the page builder, which is really excellent. So now you can pretty much just change it how you want it to be. So let's go over to right now set to multiple. If I choose lighten, it's going to change. Look at that. That looks so beautiful and amazing. And I love this feature because as a designer, my mind is always just thinking of different ways to create something unique. Like when I work in projects, I don't want to create something that's already been out there. Luminosity, it goes like that. And for those of you who want to create a really unique website, you're going to love this feature. I guarantee. Look at this. Incredible. Let's go to the screen. Uh, let's go to the soft light. And once again, you can change the blending option. So as I'm changing this hair, you notice that it changes accordingly. And I'm changing the hair. I can change again. I'm going to drag this all the way up here. And I can change the position of that. Do I want it a little bit more just on her face? just like that I don't want to get the whole body so now you notice based on that there I've changed that completely and I can be able to to do that and you can do the same thing too with your own photos you can do that with your own, your own photos as well you can choose the background position which I'm not going to go over because that other videos that I have uh, in the master class course uh, series here for page builder goes through all the details with this here but this blend mode it allows you to do something spectacular so Let's say that I I just don't want to use this image anymore. So I am going to change it. So I'm going to remove it. Now, the other option you have is you don't necessarily have to have an image. If you want to have just a background and just kind of play with it and see what type of options or looks you come up with, you can do that as well. But it works really well when you have a photo behind it. So let me just grab a photo right here. I'm just going to click here and I'm just going to grab this right here. So now it just gives this photo a very, very unique look. And you can choose how light or how dark it is. So if I didn't want this to be this dark, I can just kind of come on the overlay, just kind of bring that down just a little bit. And as I bring it down, you notice that it changes here. I can bring make it as dark or as clear as I want it to be for that color. I can leave it like that. And I can come to this one here and I can do the same thing bring it down or I can just completely just change the whole color scheme for it and just go with something different and it gives you a lot of flexibility with that and I can choose here. I can come down and choose and play around with the different blend modes uh, that would give this particular photo a unique look so that looks good right there I can come in so hmm let me change the position here I don't want that there I can make that more I choose change that to be like that a little bit so as you can see right now I'm just having fun just going through this and just dragging it all over so if you want to give your images a really really unique look something that stands out uh, this is another incredible feature that is part of the latest update of version 3.4 so make sure if you don't have it you know make sure you get that right now because all this incredible features are, are really going to change the way you do design and the videos in order for you to follow along with what I'm doing here, you're definitely going to need to have uh, the pro version of it. So make sure you grab the pro version of it right now.